In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a honeycomb pattern using a plane. So let's uh, go up to the top here. I'm going to go to polygon modeling, and I'm just going to click on the plane primitive. And I'm going to hide the grid for now. And let's just scale this up just a little bit. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to edge mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one edge. And then I'm going to select uh, the corresponding edge. So I'm going to actually select a ring of edges. Not an edge loop, but a ring. So I'm going to hold shift, select the adjacent one, and double click. And I'll select a ring. I'll do it again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go two uh, spaces down. Select, hold shift. Select a edge loop and then go or an edge and then go to this corresponding edge and so I can select the ring hold shift and double click and then select that and then go down another two and do the same there hold shift and double click so I've got three rings selected for that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bevel edge so shift right click bevel edge this little floating box options box comes up and I'm gonna make sure my fraction is set all the way to one that looks good and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start deleting some faces to clean this up so I'm gonna go to face mode and I'll just select this edge loop here and delete it and then this yeah, so it's this since this is not really a bunch of quads here it's actually a bunch of ingons I'm just gonna do a marquee select, select those polygons there, and then I'll come down to the bottom. I'll select these. I'll select these right here. And then I'll select the top. There we go. So now I've got more of a silhouette of a honeycomb pattern. Uh, I got an extra edge loop running through here, so I'm going to go to edge mode and I'll double click it. And I will select that edge loop, and then I'll do a control delete. And then I'll double tap it over here again, select that edge loop, and control delete. And that will clean up those edge loops. And then I've got some edge loops inside our, our honeycomb pattern. So what we need to do, and this is more of the tedious part, is going in there and deleting each edge loop uh, individually so I'm just gonna hold shift I'm just gonna go in here and hold shift and select so this is gonna take a little bit of time to do this again just going through and selecting them okay got that sign Holding shift and still selecting them. And selecting those. And then I'm just going to not do a control delete, but just delete because I want to keep the vertices. So just getting rid of the edges. And there you go. So that's our honeycomb pattern. They are all a little elongated. So here you can play with the shapes uh, to exactly what you want. So if you want a more elongated, uh, honeycomb pattern you can keep it like this if you want to kind of shorten them up a little bit you can go to like the vertex mode and then just do marquee select and move and then kind of change the shape so what I'm doing is I'm going to reselect these here and move that in and I'll select the next group and move that in and this makes it go a little bit faster. So again, if you want these longer, you just have to play around with what, you, what you're what you going for right there. Okay, so there's my honeycomb pattern to begin with. Now let's add some extrusion to this. So we're going to go back to face mode. I'm going to double click on the faces. It's going to select them all. And then I'm going to go to extrude face. And then over here, I can play with either... Uh, the offset or the division. So let's play with the offset a little bit and I'm going to just play with this. And it doesn't work exactly the way I want it. It's actually kind of bring them all as one piece. I actually want to break these up individually. So each 
polygon is actually extruding by itself. So right now, keep faces is turned on, so all these faces are extruding together. So I'm just going to switch that to off, and you can see now that is actually allowing each polygon to be extruded on its own. And then now I'm going to extrude in a little bit. Again, I'm playing with that offset a little bit right there. And then now I'm just going to hit the G key, which is the last tool used, which was extrude. And again, it gets a little funky when you're trying to use it sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo it. Then I'm going to do another extrude. So I'm going to shift right click and then extrude face. And then I'm going to just kind of play with uh, the thickness and go down. So I'm just playing with like a negative one. And then I'm going to play with the offset again and taper that in at the bottom. And if you want that to be a little bit more shallow, you can play with the thickness. And there you go. So now you got a nice honeycomb pattern. Let's play with that offset just a little bit. So it's not so much. There we go. And again, you can play with this to get exactly what you want. I'm just being a little bit more tedious. And then you can go a lot more shallow or deep as you want with that honeycomb pattern. And at this point, if you want, if you want this to be see-through, you can just delete those and have it see through or just keep them the way with the solid polygon. The problem is if you keep it this way, there's a bunch of ingons. So you would have to go back and insert an edge loop across like that. So if I cut across like this, I'm actually making a quad. If I wanted to keep these in quads. So it'd be a little bit of work, but once you've established that and gone in there and, and made it all quads, the next thing you can do is repeat this pattern is all you need to do is change the pivot point to like a corner here. So let's just press uh, the D key and the V key, and I'm going to click the middle of this pivot point and move it to one of these edges all the way to the edge of that vertex. So I'm snapping it right there. I'm going to hit Control D, duplicate it, move it, and then I'm going to snap this edge or this vertex to this vertex here just by holding the V key down and then snapping it and then there's your honeycomb pattern. So you take both of these, shift right click, do a combine, and then from there you can uh, go to vertex mode, select those middle edges, and then do merge vertices, merge vertices, and then you can kind of play with the threshold a little bit if to get it to all weld as one piece. And there you go. And then you can just start building out your honeycomb pattern. And if you want to make your honeycomb pattern to a specific shape, you can use like the multi-cut tool. And um, oh, let's go back, back to object mode and go to multi-cut. And I'm going to use like the knife function of the multi-cut tool. So I'm going to click outside of it, multi-cut. And then I'll just cut right through there, click right through here. So I'm clicking outside the shape. And I can just say that shape. So I'm kind of cutting it off. And then all I have to do is go to face mode. And I can just select just those faces, just like that. And do a little bit of cleanup on that. So it's right within that specific shape that you're looking for. Just like that. And now you've got a honeycomb pattern within a specific area 
which you can do a little bit more cleanup, but you kind of get the point of what the what kind of control you can do with the knife function of the multi-cut. So that's how you make a honeycomb pattern. And you're ready to go. And, the, you know, again, you have to think about do you want to cut this into quads or do you want to actually delete those ingons out of there? If not, quad it up. All right. Talk to you guys later.